Hey, it's the dragon here. Um, good morning. Good Wednesday morning. It's Wednesday morning because I'm sitting here in my studio chair. And I'm not sitting over to the cathedral. That would be Tuesdays and Thursdays. So that's the way we keep track of days. That's the way we do it. Um, I think it's going to be a hot one. But anyhow, I've been busy tweaking on the bagpipes, uh, trying to get a reed up in shape. It's slowly coming back to me when I did a lot of piping. I was pretty, pretty good at keeping my pipes running easily. And right now, it's like, how do I do this? What do I do? Do I shave the reed? Do I not shave the reed? Do I soak the reed? No, I don't soak the reed. Do I just get drunk and say the hell with it? No. No. Make it drunk, you know, not say the hell with it. So, uh, running for parts for, well, actually strings for the nice little Gibson B20 that I just had worked on and got back. I was down to buck dances the other day and looking behind where the penny whistles are. Mostly it's a bunch of just uh, generation whistles and stuff, the English common whistle, which I've used a lot of. They're good whistles, uh, uh, don't get me wrong. And I looked at the bottom of the pile and in the bucket underneath, uh, you know, the fancy cardboard display that's been there for 30 years now, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I could see one dark fipple and that's all I could see of it. So it was like, Tim, what's the, what's the dark fipple whistle? Um, and he went and, you know, got it for me. And what it was, and they don't usually carry these. They must have got it as a sample or they bought, a, you know, two or three of them to try. And it's the little sweetheart uh, conical which is really kind of cool. It's like a sweetheart, sweet tone. Oh, it's not sweetheart. Sweetheart's a different whistle company. These are sweet tones. The original sweet tone. And I'm, I'll have to, just for my own good, uh, I'll have to research that name and see if that was a company back along. But it's a subsidy of Clark Whistles which a while back um, we talked about my Clark conical and the key is C that I bought this was new old stock so it was like back when uh, in the years where they were building these the best and it's a real traditional it's not a tube it's rolled flat metal and you know it's got really nice bright work on it, which is, I've always enjoyed bright work like that. So the Sweetheart, Sweet Tone, not Sweetheart, Sweetheart's a different company, is the modern day adaptation of that whistle instead of, you know, the um, one piece and the metal fipple. This is the fipple up on this end. It's got a plastic fipple, but about the same gauge metal as this they've always used for the body. And as you can see, there's a seam back here. Now, it's not a tube, it's rolled. Now, when I first got this, I took it out into the Crusader Cruiser, and of course, you know, I had ripped the plastic protective stuff off so I could play it, see what it sounded, because I'd been curious about these whistles. And the whistles I've been playing, you know, I'm used to, I get a great, great sound and a good amount of consistent volume from the Tony Dixon that came to me from Dublin, uh, McNeil's music in Dublin, which I love. That's going to be my performance whistle for a while. My backup is actually 
Is it out here? No. It's in by my bed. It's the one I keep by my bed, which is an oak whistle, same, you know, nickel with a tunable fipple and all of that. Sort of a, a similar whistle to this, which is funny. I, I showed up to play up the music hall and I had the oak whistle and I just like had it stuck in my bag as a backup and never really tried it, pulled it out and it was unplayable because of the condition of the crap inside. I got it second hand. Uh, very little use on it. And it was never, you know, they didn't tweak it. You gotta tweak them to get them going right. Which is now turned into, you know, my second go-to whistle. My old, beloved, Irish-made whistle that I had back in the Brian Baru days and back through the big band and all of that and just carried with me for years is officially retired. Great memory. So, okay, so the Clark Sweet Tone. I got out into the car. Now, the first thing I did was <laughs> and it's like, what the? That's a piece of crap. What's going on here? <laughs> Thought a whistle is a bird call. Finally figured out after spending some time with it. This is a very, very low breath whistle, a very quiet, indoor, enjoyable little thing. The sweet tone. The original sweet tone and it's red and that's a quick review of the Clark sweet tone a nice little quiet fun conical whistle I'm the dragon onward